In Oneida County, crews are investigating the fire that broke out last night at the Holmes Marina in Verona, not far from Sylvan Beach. This video, sent to us by a CBS 5 viewer, shows the flames on several boats along the water. And although some of the boats were damaged, incredibly, no one got hurt there. CBS 5's Sarah Beth Ackerman is with the live eye in Verona. She talked to the owner of that marina. Michael, it's a boater's worst nightmare. I'm standing here at Holmes Marina, where just last night, five boats were impacted by the flames. These two that you see here were only partially damaged. We spoke to the owner of the marina, who told me she's just grateful no one was hurt. Dude, that fire is going to catch all those boats. Jay Suri Whitehall got a disturbing call last night. Her boat was one of the five caught in the heat. We came down this morning, and... We knew that the boat that had been on fire was near our boat, so we came down and we checked our boat, and we had a lot of damage. To take a closer look, we went on Whitelaw's boat to see just how bad it was. This part of the wall was completely warped and melted. You think this is bad? Take a look at these boats. This one here is completely destroyed. The owner of the marina, Betty Holmes, says this boat had to be pulled from the waters to prevent the flames from spreading. They're usually docked pretty close to each other, so you know it's going to spread from one dock to another, and that means another boat to another boat. Despite the charred remains, the owners are staying optimistic because they know it could have been so much worse. Everybody was safe, and that's the most important thing. We can always replace our boats, but it's the people we can't. No one was hurt, and that's important. No one was hurt. You can always get another boat. The Oneida County Marine Patrol Unit are at the marina as we speak. They've been interviewing witnesses in the area just to figure out what exactly sparked this fire. At this point, we still don't have a cause. For now, reporting live in Oneida County, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman. Oh, Michael. Such good news that nobody was hurt. Sarah Beth, thank you.